um, Adama miss Saturday's game, Friday's game with Adelaide. Yeah. What was the story there? I uh, picked up a, a quad strain, left quad strain in about the 80th minute. Um, he toughed out the last 10 minutes, but um, um, he didn't settle that well. We, we MR'd him, um, scanned him the next day and showed a, uh, just a mild quad strain. Um, then we tried to get him up for the, for the game last weekend, uh, but unfortunately he just, just wasn't ready in time. You can, Adama. Looking for speed here, off we go. Looking for speed. Yep. Yep. Good and check away. Ten yards off you go. Good. Yeah, so he's only just started getting back into back into the into training this week. Um, and we didn't really want to throw him into the mix today because the boys have got a, a big session today. So he did the first part of the session and then we just did a, a controlled conditioning session uh, with me this morning. And then uh, look at him rejoining on Thursday and if he gets through all that and it's up to the boss whether he, he selects him for the for the game against Brisbane this weekend. Uh, he should be avoiding any any uh, any long kicking, um, even when he starts to open up, especially early early days in his rehab process. Any when he was sprinting or, or striking a ball because it was a left quad strain, he's left footed. Um, we really want to reduce the the overstretching of that of that quad. So he's he's now at a point now where he can do everything. So we'll see how he how he recovers. When they're out there with all the boys in the, in the conditioning session, you sort of forget about where you are and. Uh, it'd be silly of us to just throw him straight into the mix when he hasn't really trained uh, last week and he's only just got back into it this week. So it's more so just about controlling what he does and um, giving him the best chance to be available for selection on, on Saturday. Clean feet, keep working, keep working Adama. Clean feet, off you go. The way we want to play our football is, is obviously at high intensity so it's no point him here just doing a light session and him trying to rejoin into a, into a session that's at high intensity. So. Uh, we try and replicate as much as we can um, in our individual conditioning sessions, as much as what they would do out there. It's obviously never the same, but um, but we, we, we try and push him as hard as we can and, and keep his intensity levels high. We, we think he, uh, he'll be all right, see how he recovers after the session we give him today. And um, he'll recover tomorrow, and then he'll, uh, we'll look at him training Thursday.